Okay, today I am getting a haircut to sort of celebrate the one year anniversary of the last time that I dyed my hair. So today we are going to find out what I decided for my one year anniversary haircut. Now, if you have never been here before and you don't know who I am, my name is Kat and Ditching Diets and Dye is about my personal journey to stop fighting my body and start trusting it instead. And I am excited for today. It's technically not my one year anniversary just yet. However, the haircut is booked for today. So I'm going to show you the, this so this is the before and I'm going to show you after the haircut. And then next week, and it's actually my one year dye free anniversary, I'm going to do a compilation of showing the actual progress. So how everything looked as it went for the things I captured, because I did not actually document this as well as I thought, because in those early days, I genuinely didn't want to take pictures of my hair because I didn't think I was going to do this. So I will take a look back at the growth and the, the grow out and all of that next week. Now for the haircut, I had kind of put it out there to the community, what should I do? <laughs> and I got some different recommendations and a few of you were on the same page. And I think that's the direction that I am going to go. Now you're gonna see it any moment now. For me, it's gonna be a few hours, um, but I did wanna give you a look at the before. I'll do a full spin around when I've got my hair cut um, a little bit later today, but you can kind of see where the growth is. And this is sort of what is inspiring my conversation that I will have <laughs> with my hairdresser about what I want to do today for this haircut. I'm actually, I'm really excited for this haircut, although I'm also a little nervous because I am going to chop off a fair amount, but I don't think I have it in me to do the full pixie. So today, I don't think I'm gonna be done my transition today. I love seeing the pictures of women who just go for it and just chop off all the dyed hair and then they're done and that's amazing. I just don't think that is what I'm going to choose for me and I am all about everyone figuring out the journey that works for them. So without further ado, I'm going to pause this first part and then we are going to find out what I did with my hair when I come back after the hairdresser. Okay, <laughs> what do you think? This is my new haircut. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I'm supposed to angle my head down a little bit more, but uh, I, I feel happy with it. I'm really curious to see, and I'll do spin, I'm really curious to see how this will look when I do the curls, because obviously right now it's very <laughs> straight, um, but I think it could be a little versatile to do the straight versus to also do the waves. So let's do a little spin around for you. All right, <laughs> there we have it. It's my one year anniversary haircut. I am really excited to see how else this is going to look. My first initial reaction is that it obviously feels really good <laughs> to be getting closer, but as you can tell, I still have a ways to go with my transition for my gray hair. And I think though it has a little bit of a better grombre effect. Um, so I like that because I will admit that I was starting to wear my hair back a little bit more lately. I think just because of the length and where the gray hair transition was falling, and so I think this is a little bit better. I think I'm gonna wear my hair down a little bit more. Also, it won't be as easy to pull back, but I, I hope you like it. I know a few of you in the comments when I asked a couple of weeks ago what your thoughts were, people said maybe a chin length bob. And I thought, I think I agree with you. I'm gonna give this a try. I haven't had this haircut in about 10 years. I think it's been about a decade since I had hair at this length. I do eventually wanna grow my hair longer once it's fully transitioned, but for now, this is fun. This is part of the transition. And uh, if you wanna come along for the ride, then I encourage you to like and subscribe and see what happens next.